Have you guys ever been stuck inside on a cold and snowy day with nothing to do? Well, I certainly have. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating and teaching you guys how to snowboard. My three, my three main points of focus today will be on the equipment you need to snowboard, the basics of snowboarding, carving, and stopping. And lastly, I'll wrap it up with why snowboard benefits you. Why snowboarding benefits you. So let's get right into it. The equipment you need to snowboard is pretty basic. Obviously, it's going to be cold out, so you're going to need some warm, some warm gear. You need a coat, some snow pants, some warm socks, mittens, and a hat. You're gonna need some safety gear too because snowboarding isn't the safest sport. You're gonna need a helmet and some goggles to keep the snow out of your eyes. Also, you'll need a snowboard. You'll need a snowboard deck, snowboard bindings, and specified snowboarding boots. Once you have all this, you're ready to hit the slopes. So now, I'll be teaching you guys some basics of snowboarding. Carving, which carving allows you to maneuver your board and turn down the mountain in control without the snow controlling your board and you. Carving, carving is done on the toe and heel edge of a snowboard. There's metal edges on both sides. A heel side carve, you're going to want to sit on your heels and act like you're sitting in a chair. You're going to make a clean, a clean cut in the snow. And then a toe carve, you're going to want to lean on your toes slightly bend your knees and lean forward. The most important thing to do while carving is have enough speed. Momentum is the momentum is the most important thing because without momentum you're either going to just lean back and fall on your butt or lean forward and fall on your knees. So with all the speed and carving you're going to learn you're going to need to know how to stop too. Well here's a video of so as you can see, he's leaning forward. He's putting pressure on his toes, and he links it up and switch it back to his heels, and then back to his toes. And this is carving, and he's obviously in control of the board. So now to stopping. Stopping is quite. It looks quite simple, but it's definitely a challenge. As you're facing forward, you're going to want to put pressure on your heels and you're going to kick out your right foot and lean back on your heels. And the more pressure you put, the quicker, the quicker you're going to stop. Here's a quick video of a guy stopping. He kicks his right foot out and he leans back and he comes to a quick halt. It's pretty that it's that simple, but it doesn't it's not that simple when you're on a snowboard. Well, now that you know how to shred the mountain, let's get to my last point, why it benefits you. Snowboarding benefits you in multiple different ways, even though it doesn't seem like it. It's a great exercise. According to healthfitnessrevolution.com, you burn 200 to 600 calories per hour riding a snowboard. But the best part is you don't even realize you're burning calories because you're having so much fun learning this activity. Also, it's a great workout. It's a great core workout. You gain stability and flexibility and coordination. Snowboarding is a great activity. It, you, can, you can do it on a cold and snowy day when you're bored. It's a good workout, and it's also fun to learn. So today, I hope I got you started off on snowboarding, and that wraps up my presentation.